So over the past month, I have collected a lot of random new or interesting foods that I have found at the grocery store and I thought, let's just sit down and try them together, shall we? <laughs> this is feeling a lot like old school, like 2014 YouTube and I'm here for that. So I think it's time, by the way. I think, you know, how trends circle back around. I think we've had the kind of more modern youtube i think it's time to go back to the basics minimal editing just having fun doing stupid random videos can we just like get back to that i think that's the vibe let's start with okay i think this is what i'm most excited about i just bought these yesterday so i know they're brand new new baja blast flavors laguna lemonade and point break punch so it's a tropical punch and a mango lemonade now i'm a very big fan of baja blast i would go as far as to say it's probably my favorite soda ever next to coke uh i will literally go to taco bell just to get baja blast that's how much i like it however i will say when you buy it in the can or in the bottle it does not taste as good as it does at taco bell i don't know if they're doing something a little secret at taco bell extra carbonation syrup ratios are different i don't know what's going on there but with that being said i don't think i'm gonna be obsessed with these but let's give it a try okay let's start with the point break punch is this gonna be kind of like code red don't you think because isn't code red code red's cherry not punch but isn't punch kind of like cherry okay it is very much like hawaiian punch meets mountain dew it's actually really nice mmm But similar to how I felt about the Baja Blast in a bottle, it's too sweet. The carbonation factor, like when you go to Taco Bell and you drink that Baja Blast, it like burns your esophagus going down. And that is what I love about it. This one doesn't have the burn. It's too sweet. I still really like it though. I'm going to give it a B. The lemonade. I do love mango, but the idea of lemonade flavored soda... Um, doesn't sound good to me let's try i mean it's not bad it's better than i thought no no i'm gonna give that a c minus speaking of soda okay when i saw this on the shelf i i almost don't want to try this because i know that i'm not gonna like it but i'm so curious that i just had to buy it dr pepper peeps now listen i am a peeps girl as a kid my birthday was on easter i want to say like one or two times it's very very close also if you're watching this today on march 30th it is my birthday <laughs> anyway i associate peeps with easter and i associate easter with my birthday as a kid or like easter time with my birthday time and my mom would always buy me peeps for Easter slash my birthday. So I do love Peeps, even though they're gross. They just taste like dyed marshmallow. There is a childhood nostalgic factor for me. And I'm very curious. I mean, I don't even like Dr. Pepper soda, so I know I'm not gonna like these, but let's see. There's the babies. I will say that I love a stale peep way more than a fresh peep. If it gets a little chewy, I just think it's so much better than when it's like gooey. Mm. It actually does taste like Dr. Pepper. Whoa. I mean, it's kind of good. <laughs> I mean, I ate the whole thing. Would I buy it again? No. Is it an interesting novelty item? Yes. Still, it's not that great though. I would give it a C minus. Now these I bought, I will admit, just because they have Hello Kitty on the back. And I love Hello Kitty so much. This is Hello Kitty Limited Edition Goldfish Strawberry Shortcake. They look like, kind of like Teddy Grahams. All right, let's try them. 
these are really, I mean, this is not my kind of snack. I'm not gonna like wake up one day and be like, mm, I'm craving little crispy like dog treats. But they definitely exceeded my expectation. And if I was a little kid or if I was like a mom who had a little kid, I would definitely buy these for them. Also, I just wanna show you guys. There are some fish and there are some Hello Kitties. See, the kitty and then the, the classic fish. <laughs> Honestly, they're not very good. They did exceed my expectations, but I would never, ever, ever buy these again. And I would give them a D plus. I mean, it doesn't make sense because I just said they were good, right? But in terms of like, they're just too boring. There's, it's like, who wants a little graham cracker, right? Mm, 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 yeah, D plus, D plus. Time for a salty snack. Let's try Takis Buckin' Ranch, non-spicy. I've definitely tried quite a few different ranch flavored chips and I have never, ever, ever liked one, which is crazy because I could probably drink an entire bottle of ranch dressing. I like ranch so much, but for some reason with chips, it just, it never works. Is it just me or did the lighting somehow change? I'm gonna redo this and be right back. Okay, see, much better. I don't know what happened. Okay, anyway, Hockey's Ranch. Why are they so hard? Hmm, see the light did it again. What the hell, why am I like yellow? I guess anytime I hold up like a bag or something, it's changing the color. Hold on. See? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not a fan of these. It's way too thick and hard. And the flavor's not good either. It, it like coats your tongue in a really weird way. And it's almost like drying in your mouth. I'm gonna give these a D. Now, something that I actually have high hopes for. These Sweet Tarts Chewy Fusions. I love anything fruity and chewy. I don't know how they could mess this up. Let's see. The flavors are berry, tropical punch, cherry, watermelon, and strawberry. They're big. They look like gumballs. The fuck? Okay, let's try one. <laughs> fuck, I'm gonna break a tooth. Oh my god, why are they so hard? Mm. They don't say anything about being sour, but they're proper sour. So it's kind of like the um nerds clusters except imagine if the nerds were like one big hard shell the flavor is very similar i think the texture is a little off-putting but they're definitely good i would give this a b Okay, I feel like I need to rinse my mouth out. So let's go for a drink. Okay, so this one, when I got it at the store, I thought it was new because I had never seen it before. No, boogie, boogie. No. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, okay, when I saw this at the store, I thought it was new, but I later realized it's not new, but I still think it's interesting. So I'm gonna try it with you guys. This is a Twinkies flavored latte. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh my God. Uh-uh. I don't even taste a hint of a Twinkie in this and I'm giving it enough. Actually, that might be too extreme. No, it's not, it's enough, that's enough. Oish, no. Um, I literally need another drink. I'm probably not gonna like this drink either, but I'm so curious. This is the Sparkling Ice Strawberry Starburst. I do not like sugar-free drinks. The only sugar-free drinks I've ever liked are the Alani Energy Drinks. And I feel like because they're so carbonated, it doesn't bother me. So I don't know, I could like this. We'll see. But I love Strawberry Starburst. Strawberry Starburst, in my opinion, are like the best fruity candy ever made. So I really wanted to try this. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Considering I don't like artificial sweetener. What type of sweetener is in this? Sucralose. Yeah, it's not so bad. I still don't think I would ever buy it again. Like I wouldn't catch myself craving it, but it's better than I expected it to be. So I will give it I'll give it a C plus. So this is Lay's Sweet and Spicy Honey. I'm like, is it like barbecue? It's not barbecue. It's literally just honey and pepper and cheese and brown sugar and sour cream. Stevia smells pretty good. I will say I don't really like Lay's potato chips. They're just like, I've never in my life, I think, bought a bag of Lay's, but. Whoa. Hmm. There is a lot going on with this chip. My brain can't even like, if I wouldn't have read the ingredient list and I just would have put this in my mouth, my brain can't even, there's too much happening in my opinion. Like the spiciness is good. I like the heat and I like the crunch. There's too much happening though. Like it's not terrible, don't get me wrong. I think I would give it C minus. Now this I feel like has to be good. Reese's Cluster Bites. Peanut butter, caramel, and peanuts. <coughs> I'm such a baby, it was spicy. <laughs> it's like the fumes are in my throat. Peanut butter, caramel, and peanuts covered in chocolate. Oh my gosh, they're so small. It's a baby. Mm. Mm hmm. I feel like it's pretty difficult to mess up anything Reese's related. So I'm gonna give this B plus. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little full. <laughs> There's a few things left. I feel like these items may end up getting rated lower just because I'm so full. But let's keep going. This I am very excited about. Werther's Original Caramel Popcorn. Every time I have a Werther's Original, I am reminded of my grandparents who always have them at their house. It is really good. Even though it's kind of like an old person candy, it is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I mean, I'm somebody who likes caramel corn to begin with, but this like little, mm, like the buttery. Mm, I know. Wow. Super, super good. I'm gonna give this an A. To be clear, my highest possible rating is an A plus, which nothing has gotten an A plus yet and nothing probably will. Right, boy? Nothing will, nothing, none of this is gonna be A plus, I already know. Okay, let's try another drink. This is not really super new at this point. I bought this such a long time ago, but I haven't tried it yet. It's the Spiced Coke, Raspberry Spiced. Which sounds good, but I just have to say, you guys, I'm sorry, Coke, <gasps> that scared me. Oh, whoa, I can smell it already. Coke, in my opinion, has never made a good spinoff soda. Like, hello, you're like the richest company in the world. How is it possible that you have not made a good flavored spin-off soda? I will say like cherry Coke is pretty good, but that's so ancient that I don't even consider that to be like, vanilla Coke is also good, but that's it. Cherry Coke, vanilla Coke, classic Coke. I'm talking about like, you know, like the year 3000 and the starlight and like all of those. Shit, I'm sorry, so bad. Who the fuck made those? Anyway. This smells like cough syrup. <laughs> There's definitely a hint of cough syrup, without a doubt. But the spice element does make it a bit interesting, I will say. However, still not good. No. 
No, Coke, come on. I believe in you. Honestly, if you want to hire me, if you're somehow watching this, anybody who works for Coca-Cola is watching this, I'll do it for free. Bring me in, bring me into the lab. I will create your next success. Anyway, I would give this a D. Oh, I'm full, you guys. Next we have Dirt Cake Flavor Cream Oreos which have gummy worm inspired sprinkles on top. I just feel like this is gonna just taste like an Oreo that with chocolate cream. I don't think anything about this is gonna give dirt cake. Okay, so the sprinkles on top, I don't know if you guys can see. See how they kind of like, they're almost like sparkles. I'm typically a take the Oreo apart, scrape the icing out, and then eat the cookies type Oreo eater. But for the sake of the taste test, I will be a psycho and I will just eat it like this. So as I thought, it's just an Oreo with chocolate cream. However, I will say the light cream actually is a different texture than normal Oreo cream. It's thinner. I feel like they just come up with these flavors as like a, a novelty gimmick and people are like, oh, dirt cake Oreo, I wonder what that tastes like. And they get it, but I feel like they're not actually taking the time to develop a good product. And similar to Coke, it's like, why? How? You have so much money. Can't you get like, I feel like these companies need to be pulling in young people. Get some interns, get some people from college and get their opinion on what tastes good. Because whoever's taste testing these products, whoever's taste testing these products needs to be fired, okay? Because they're not good. All right, let's go for another salty one. I don't know if these are new or not. Are these new? Maybe I just like thought they were new, but they're not. Dynamita sticks, tangy, fiery lime. These are kind of like hot fries, but spicy lime, which sounds really good. Mmm. Oh my God. Wait. Mmm. I love, if you like spicy lime, you'll love this. First of all, flavor is amazing. Texture, really good. Way better than like a hot fry. Hot fries are kind of like um, airy a little bit, like puff, puffed. This is more dense and the texture, like the bite is really good. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. I'm definitely giving these an A. So close to being an A plus. Is it an A plus? Okay, I don't think it's quite an A plus, but I will give them an A. It says they're medium spicy, but like I said, I'm a baby when it comes to spicy, so my mouth's on fire. So I'm gonna go in with my last drink. Another Mountain Dew. Whoever's in product development for a Mountain Dew, give them a raise. I mean, what's coming out isn't very good, but at least the, they're getting a lot of new products out. This is Purple Thunder, Mountain Dew with a blast of berry plum. <sighs> There's no way this is gonna be good. It's just so sweet. Oh my God, what is going on with this soda? Like, it, There's like not even any bubbles coming up. Where's the carbonation? Are sodas becoming less carbonated? I don't understand. No, that's not it. That's a, that's a D minus. That is so bad. Mm -mm. Okay, just a few things left. What do I want next? Let's go with chocolate frosted donut flavored Kit Kat. It's interesting. It's like a multi, the top is chocolate. The bottom is vanilla, I think. Mm. Bottom, vanilla, top, chocolate. It does smell like a donut. Wow, okay. I do love Kit Kat, so. Mm -mm. 
It tastes like generic, like frosted cookie. Like, you know those, um, oh, it's so sweet. Oh, nothing about that is giving, <coughs> nothing about that is giving donut to me. That is giving those big ass fat, cheap, uh, frosted sugar cookies. D minus, no, F. No, I'm being too harsh. D minus, D minus. I feel like this is gonna taste exactly like that. This is Pop-Tarts chocolatey chip pancake. I feel like this is gonna have the exact same flavor as that. This is what it looks like. Whoa. This really tastes like a pancake. How did they do that? It's like you can taste the... Like the flour, like the batter. It's not the best thing in the world, but... There's something really interesting about this. What's strange though is it's like the taste of pancake batter isn't really a good taste. <laughs> I'm just very impressed that they were able to get like that hint of that into the pop tart. How? I'm gonna give this like a kind of a low rating, still like C minus, I wanna say. However, I do think if you're amused by interesting products, you should try it. Now, for the grand finale, we have to take a field trip to the microwave because I have. Lunchables crispy grilled cheese. I don't see how this is possible, but apparently grilled cheese in 60 seconds. Okay, this is the final product. Taking off this little like crispy thingy. Not the crispiest grilled cheese ever, but for the microwave, okay. <laughs> Ew. There's no way this is gonna be good. <laughs> you guys, this bread is so chewy. It doesn't even taste like bread. Okay, if you get to the center where there's a lot of cheese, it's actually good. I can't give it a good rating just because the bread is so off in my opinion, but I will give it a C minus. No, I'll give it a G plus. Like, look at this, I can't even, I can't even pull it apart. Anyway, so that does it for my taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything that I tried that you really liked, let me know. Or if there's anything out there that is new or interesting that you've seen in the stores that I didn't try today, let me know and I will buy it and try it in another video. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching until the end, you guys. I really, 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 really appreciate you. And I will see you soon. Bye.